owner of uh, Truck Norris, and we serve Hawaiian and Filipino fusion. Great. Hey everyone, my name is Warren uh, from Discussion Truck. I'm the owner and operator. I've uh, been operating since April of this year, 2012, and our food is mainly hot dogs and fries. Okay, so I, like ever since I was little, I always put, I always put since I was little. Since I was six, I have a pictures of, I have pictures of me with a spatula in my hand, always trying to like cook. And then uh, as a Filipino growing up, I was gonna go into school for nursing. And then my sister was like, uh, why don't you just go to culinary school? Because we always did a background of like festivals, like we did FPAC back in 2000. So like just having our own food booths, and then it was always uh, kind of successful. So my sister said, in, my sister said instead of. Uh, uh, why don't you just go into um, culinary school and she had a management degree and I was like alright so we went to I went to culinary school to open up a restaurant back in 2005 and then when I finished in 2007 2008 around there um, the economy started going down and uh, my family was like I don't think it's the right time to open up a restaurant it's too much of a risk and then the whole uh, when the scene came out, when the COVID came out, I was like ready to grow up. We just didn't have the funds. So once we had the funds, it took us two years just to like build. We didn't want, we didn't want to rent a truck; we wanted to build our own. So this truck is like fully custom, like how I wanted it to be. So it just took us two years to come out. Okay. Well, honestly, um, it was it's about two years ago. It was uh, me and my brother were talking about food, which everyone does. Um, we had a few drinks, a lot of drinks. And uh, <clears throat> I was like, dude, I want to open a restaurant. First of all, I want to open a restaurant, but didn't have the, fun, the funds for it. Right. So I was like, what's next? I mean, I could do a food truck, but everyone's doing a food truck. Mm -hmm. you know? And I love Filipino food. Right. You know, so I took, took both of those and just like fused both of them together. You've got your sour, your sweet, you're salty and you're savory. That, I, I think that best describes Filipino food. The reason why we uh, wanted to do Filipino food is just because, like, we're, I'm Filipino, and like, so my parents were the ones who, like, my mom was the one who cooked for her, like, her whole life. And so I wanted to incorporate her cooking with things that I learned in culinary school with food that I like. So I incorporated with Hawaiian food because that's the food that I like to eat along with Filipino food. I think Filipino food should already be mentioned because it's just like, in general, it's just like there's a lot of flavor. Well, basically, it was our way of getting Filipino food out to the masses. Like, uh, Filipino food isn't a widely known aspect of our culture yeah. in this area. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to introduce it in a way that was comfortable for most people to take it. So that's pretty much why the amazing aspect of it. It's, it's, we're introducing a lot of, you know, different kinds of, like, uh, different kinds of food, like oxtail, different kinds of right. brands like oxtail yeah. to, you know, people have never had it, never in their life, like, dude. I think it promotes it because, I mean, if you, once you have like Filipino anywhere, in any kind of fusion, you're going to promote it regardless because once they see that name Filipino to any other uh, culture, people are going to be more inclined to try it by itself after they try the fused. I don't know. I think people need to be more adventurous when it comes to when it comes to food. I mean, like when you, first of all, when you talk about like seasick and you say like pork cheeks and you know like all the all the the ingredients of seasick, you know, it's just uh, people aren't gonna be that adventurous toward it. So what I did was like I incorporated that into like a little pork, which is like a standard, you know, like pork shoulder, your pork butt, and made it with the Filipino flavors so that people are inclined to eat it instead of being, you know, being hesitant. So yeah, none of it hasn't been introduced yet. That's why it's not mainstream. I mean, slowly but surely it'll get there. Um, through, whether it be through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social networks, social networks, yeah. Um, food shows like Andrew Bourdain, Andrew Zimmer. Right. They're, they're exposing a lot of that mm -hmm. our, our food you know, American people which is good I mean that's what that's what we're here for uh, we're trying to get our food out to people that don't know about it yeah. so it's just
just a matter of time, like until people, people all around the world know about it. Yeah. My name is Harry. I'm a teacher. Teacher. I'm a college teacher. It's not mainstream except in the Filipino community. So I've been to the Philippines on business and I like it. So I go look for it. And once they try it, they're gonna be I think they're gonna be cool. I think that I, I like curry curry. Uh -huh. And they don't have it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, why do you think um, Filipino food is not as uh, mainstream as other cultural food like Chinese or Vietnamese or Mexican or you know other it's, it's kind of a chicken and egg situation I think. The, the Chinese food is everywhere. So everybody gets introduced to it. Filipino food is kept in only in the Filipino community basically. Okay. So you have to you have to go search it out. So um I do go you, to Imar and the Zuzu. Do you um um yeah. Do you suggest other Americans that are non-Filipino to eat Filipino food? Oh, or? Absolutely. absolutely. So, I told you I'm a teacher. Uh, next week is the last day of class. Really? So the last, Lucky. Day, last day of class, we always have a uh, potluck. Oh. And uh, I encourage my Filipino students to bring pots in. Oh. And everybody, everybody enjoys it. Right. So this is... Uh, our seasick nachos is basically seasick on top of chips and cheese. Our spicy cilantro lime sauce on top of cheese and chicharron. Great. And chicharron. Good yeah. for you. Fatty. Yeah. Alright, it's my first white rabbit. Sure. Not bad. Need a little hot sauce. Okay, so now we're trying to get <laughs> the adobo. Seconds the best, I've been the best by more than What's the rest of the time. Um, my name is Warren Alvina, I'm the owner of Special Trunk. If you can't find us, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Special Trunk.com, or Special Trunk on Twitter. So, you can find us there. Yeah, and then we got a Try it. Just try it. Because once you try it, you know you'll uh, like it.